This video is going to consist of the grow lights that I sell, so it might seem a bit advertorial. Hi guys, welcome back to Folium Friends YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about grow lights. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the grow lights that I sell, why it is beneficial to get grow lights, and how to use them. I'm not an expert on grow lights, but this is what I got out of researching lights. Firstly, I want to talk about how light actually affects your plants. With plants, they require light to actually produce food for them to grow efficiently. And that means that if there isn't enough light, plants will not be able to produce enough food and energy for them to grow healthily and efficiently. So when it comes to plants, the needs of each plant when it comes to light varies. Obviously, we have plants that prefer low light and then there's those that prefer medium light and those that prefer high light. An example of a plant that prefers low light is Calathea and an example of a plant that likes high light would be a succulent. So when it comes to low light plants, you're probably looking anywhere about 4 hours of light exposure a day and then with medium light, you're probably looking at around 8 hours and when it comes to high light plants, you're probably looking at more than 12 hours a day and it ranges anywhere between 12 to 18. So it's really important to know what is required for the different plants before you set up your grow lights. So you may wonder whether getting normal white or yellow LED lights is sufficient. There is quite a lot online that talks about whether it is sufficient and there's a lot of debate going on about it. Basically what I get it is that it is not enough. What you need is a full spectrum grow light that can mimic the sun's natural rays. So with the studies, there's a whole lot that talk about how red and blue light supports photosynthesis and germination of uh, seeds. One thing that you probably want to look for is PAR. This is photosynthetically active radiation and it is measured in nanometers. But if you're a houseplant grower, you're looking at around 400 to 700 nanometers that is required for your plants. And the grow lights I sell range between anywhere between 400 and 625 nanometers. So we're going to talk about the colors and their benefits to growing in plants. So the first color we'll talk about is blue light. Blue light actually helps with preventing etiolation and promotes stem growth. It helps with production of chlorophyll in your plants and also without blue light germination cannot happen. Red light. With red light, this is really important for the plant's growth past germination. Red light, but it needs to be partnered up with blue to ensure good plant growth. Red light. Red light is also a key component for photosynthesis. The main reason why I started selling these grow lights is because there wasn't a whole lot of options in New Zealand and I bought my first grow light last year. They were actually really helpful to making sure that my plants looked healthy all throughout winter. So I sell two types of grow lights on the website. One is LED strips and then the other is LED grow lamps. And this is an LED grow lamp. And what I've used on my shelves are LED grow strips. So with the LED grow strips, they are all waterproof. However, they are not actually really very bright and the brightness is also not adjustable. These LED strips also come with a 3M sticker backing. So this allows you to actually stick it to surfaces for example, like my plant shelf. So when it comes to buying LED grow strips, you want to make sure that the LED grow strips are pasted onto a surface that is going to be relatively close to the plants or you need to layer up on the grow light strips. With the LED lamps, they are probably more customizable to your needs and they are my favorite. However, they are probably a bit more spendy and it depends on whether you're gonna spend a little bit more on grow lights. So the good thing about the grow light lamps is that there are adjustable levels of light. So there are five levels of brightness 
and it also allows you to choose between red sorry <laughs> choose between blue red and blue and red combined which gives you purple and it also has a timer option of 4 hours 8 hours and 12 hours and the great thing about the grow light lamps is that you're allowed to basically move it 360 degrees we call this a glue snack function um, and you're able to bend it to whatever position that you want it to be shining on and with both they can be placed really close to the leaves of your plants because LED lights do not produce a lot of heat so they're kept relatively cool and will not cause light burn also if you're not gonna shop from foliumfriend.co.nz it's totally fine there are plenty of options out there um, but when you're looking at grow lights you want to make sure that you are looking for for full spectrum grow lights. Like I said before, all LED lights can be used as grow lights for your indoor setup, but this may be suboptimal because yellow and white light may not consist of the full spectrum that is required for healthy and efficient growth of plants. So always be mindful about the color and the placement of your light, no matter the wattage. The brighter the light, the better. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that and I hope you guys learned a thing or two about the grow lights that I sell on foliumfriend.co.nz. If you enjoyed it, remember thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!